how do you think about risk in your labs and in thinking down the road to what might happen eventually with the technologies that you're working with? Yiping, do you want to start? Yeah, sure. So, so I think I often see uh, just like uh, technology is technology, just like uh, the knife is knife. We can cut, you know, can you have can have a kitchen or you can wound somebody, right? Just depending how you, you know, you know, car can sometimes cause accident, but no, we have to commute with car. So CRISPR Cas definitely is a lot of advantage. You know, we use that as a as a tool, and uh, so. But really, how can really be used for really bad purpose, bad outcome? I haven't really seen much besides the gene drive. You know, we don't really want to get too much about wiping out our species. Like, you know, I, I don't want to do that, right? So it's, it's <laughs> so. But but really, we're thinking about how you know applying as a called NBT uh, sort of next generation bad technology or new breeding technology, right? So to really uh, speed up the breeding process, we have been practicing the farmers or breeders or scientists or as a society are practicing this thousands of years to make the corn as today, the corn, you know, soybean. You've never seen that the same thing before, right? So we, we are constantly making this kind of changing the genome. But CRISPR is just a tool to allow us to make it happen. So I really never think about something really bad. One thing I would say so is people think about, uh, okay, it's a scissor which we cut here. You want to cut, you know, literally this gene, but, uh, you know, giving like three million, three billion base pair of the maize genome or human genome. How can you make sure it is only going to, make the change at your intended target, right? So that will be an issue of off-targeting. So that's actually a little bit controversial in, in animal study. Luckily, you know, recently we actually got a paper uh, uh, accepted uh, to publishing genome biology gonna coming soon, next month probably, which we did a very uh, uh, sort of a comprehensive study. And we CRISPR cas genome modified uh, many, many plants in rice. And then we sequenced the genome, the entire genome of every plant we modified. And then we compare that to our parent plants, which has, been, has not been modified. And then we found actually, we, we indeed found mutations. And we actually find about 200 mutations uh, across every single plant. So, but that mutation was sort of arise during tissue culture where you're making a cell, induce that from cali to make a whole plant. So not because of CRISPR-Cas. We even found that just uh, if you have a seed from the parent plants, the seed already, the next generation already contain 40 mutations okay. compared to parents. So that's a lot of mutation. But CRISPR-Cas, we only very, very bad CRISPR-Cas reagent we made. One out of 15, that one only make a few, like three to five additional mutations, which is unintended. So to that, that level of off-targeting is really minimum. So, I, so I to make sure the audience understands mm -hmm. what we're talking about with off-targeting, this is the idea that you have the magic scissors and it's going to go to this one gene that you want to turn off, but what if it goes to a different gene that's very similar and it just goes to that and cuts the wrong thing? This is the idea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a metaphor, people say crispr cas is a missile, missile targeting. A missile. Specifically. <laughs> a missile. But missile maybe fly yes. over, you know, so <laughs> somewhere else it's dangerous, right? So, so how can you make sure it's not fly over to other sites, right? So, so we actually, our study showed it is very safe. It, it's really good to the site you only target. So your study was showing that there are are mutations that happen even with no CRISPR that are from one generation Right, the natural, yeah, nature has mutations, otherwise we wouldn't evolve as a human, right? And that in general so, there weren't that many off-target effects, but there were some, did I understand that right? Yeah, we intended to design a very sort of a bad guide RNA, which you already has... designed a bad one on purpose? Yeah, it just it, on purpose, <laughs> <laughs> just, to show, just to show how it can happen, right? Because, oh, okay. you know, the things, then we learned actually if you can limit the mismatch of base, base so to two, then you can actually avoid that. So, so we learn So worst case scenario, right. a scientist makes a really terrible mm. magic scissors. Right, Here's right. like what might happen. Right, but right. most of you aren't going to make bad magic scissors. Right. Even that, that compared to natural occurring mutation rate is very, very small. Okay. So okay. it's very safe. So.